Good luck. All right, so. Attorney to Shodan, round six. Um, should be exciting. <laughs> okay, well, this brings back memories um, from not too long ago. I admit some curiosity. I have given this some thought since my last game, which uh, didn't have the greatest outcome, but... Oh, interesting. Wow, we have a transition here already. Um, hmm. I think the downside of playing this opening this way is that I can pawn drop on 5-4. And it's kind of difficult to dislodge my pawn. Normally, I prefer the pawn on 5-5, five five, but this seems workable. And normally, I would prefer to have the rook all the way back on 5-9, but again, um, this position seems a bit awkward for my opponent. <sighs> so I need to defend against a rapid attack. I probably needed to defend last move and I failed to do so, but I still need to defend. So I'm finding myself doing the same maneuver here that my opponent's doing. So my king is somewhat safe here. Yeah, I don't really know where I'm ending up here. This is pretty crazy. Well, if I move that... Everything's still covered. Or rather, that move doesn't spoil it. It might already be spoiled, but... Um, hmm. Yes, I might find my bishop dropping back. Like theirs did. Ah, this is the fly in the ointment. This is the problem I have to deal with that night. Um, interesting. So I see he wants a great many things here, and it looks like he's getting some of them. Um, Oh, my rook needed to protect against stuff on that rank. Um, I could still move it up. This is so awkward. So if I move the rook up... Well, they can't co-occupy this square with the silver and knight. Um, hmm. Ah... <sighs> What a strange game. I think I need to float my rook again. Because this pawn's not going anywhere, because they've heavily armed against me advancing it. 
so this rook is more useful just floating across the fourth rank. So this is my way of trying to deal with concerns of them breaking in on the 8th file. Um, I don't know if this is going to be effective or not, and this might explain why normally you advance the bishop instead of the silver to that square. We might have a very painful lesson on our hands right now. I'm trying to think, like, obviously I want my bishop to be active. Um, okay, this was unexpected. Oh! Things that are one move faster in chess are one move slower in shogi because they leave targets behind. I see. Well, that's awkward. Uh, so, yeah, if I take this either way, they're going to push this pawn. And I have various possible responses. But none of them seem especially delightful. Yeah, they beat me to the punch here. Um, if pawn takes, if pawn push, I could advance my gold. Or just slide it over one? I don't know. This is so awkward. By my own design. Well, if I had a silver in hand, I could start attacking, and something positive could come from that too. It's not all negative. If pawn takes, pawn push, pawn push, they take here one way or the other. Or they may take here instead. Um, yeah, this. If I had a pawn and eight six, that's not going to help. If I have a silver here, and they push this, I can promote. And they take, and this blocks their bishop, and then I can take here. Okay, this is most unexpected. Like, I realized this was possible, but I didn't see why this was so valuable. My screen dimmer is flickering again. I'm going to have to terminate and restart it. I'm not sure what's up with it. It's difficult to watch the screen if it's flashing. Uh, so what can I do now? Where does this work belong? Um, if 
Frequently rooks enjoy open files, but that's not happening today. Well, the best I can manage is to make this a difficult to strike target. So let's move out here and see if he comes up with a way to hit my rook. I mean, there is an obvious answer, that, but my pawn protects against it right now. Oh. Oh, I thought he was going to pawn drop here. Um, I see. So, yeah, he's gotten control of the head of my bishop now. That's not great. Um, well, so my plan was to try to strike this knight. I could still try to do that. He's going to undermine my silver. It's going to hurt. Um, but I can achieve something positive, even while being struck. I push my gold to try to hold this all together, then I end up putting my pawn in front of my bishop. And the silver retreats maybe back there. I don't know. Maybe it goes back from whence it came. And I just trapped. Yeah, we're not going to go down fighting that way. We're going to go down fighting this way. Trying to hit this knight. Trying to promote my bishop. It might not work by force. I don't know. Also, I guess they could offer a bishop exchange. I could have thought more about this. I could always think more about things, but... Yeah. Oh. Is this so? I guess the bishop does defend that. And this makes room for their silver to climb out. Um, that's annoying. On the other hand, I do get one tempo to attack, so let's make use of this one tempo. Oh, my bishop's hanging. Fuck. So my plan upon drop to hit the knight is not necessarily great right now. Um, hmm. This is not ideal. I guess on the bright side, I have stopped this pawn from promoting immediately. Um, I do still retain my pawn drop threat, but this is sketchy. Um, if they move up the silver, I'm debating do I move my knight? Or um, do I try to protect this? Uh, I don't know about that one. That's interesting. Yeah, so if I try to safeguard my silver here, I suspect bad things are going to happen sooner or later. Um... That's 
annoying. Yeah, I can't really stop it at. Well, we have to lean into it then, instead of pretending that um, we can fight back. Or pretending that we can hold this. Um, we need to just go all in on this attack. So, uh, do I want this knight? Maybe. Um, not necessarily right now. Oh boy, so I need a waiting move. I have a waiting move. Um, not too happy with it, but um, yeah, let's continue building the castle. If I need another waiting move, perhaps I push this. Or if he hits my rook, maybe I move it up a rank. I don't know, this is messy. So what does defend this knight? if I attack it again. Oh, I guess he defends across the rank. No, not, eh, you can't really do that. I'm not sure what he's planning. Rooks need open lines, and my rook is not on an open line. If I give him a spare move, he'll move up the silver and then defend this knight successfully. Oh, if I move my rook up, he can use a pawn to defend the knight. But this blocks his rook. Um, which is probably worth doing for me. And it gets rid of this bishop tempo move that he might later have. Yep, so I'm calling his bluff right now. might not be smart because he's a pretty good player but um,
Yeah, this is awkward. I think I have to offer the rook trade, even though it's not the best rook trade ever. Um, and I don't expect him to take it, I expect a pawn drop, but then I can move my rook to this file. And we can start to counterattack. Um, whereas if I'd gone here directly, Tokin takes this, which is protecting my silver. Then I have to move the silver. But this way, if they pawn drop like I expect, then I can go here instead. Um, and if he pushes his pawn, I can push my pawn. So stuff gets wild. What else I could take the token? It's complicated. Or if he takes here, I can still push my pawn. Uh, pawn protecting the token is an interesting idea, but it doesn't quite work. So what now? What can I do? I admit I didn't see rook 8-3. That's kind of interesting. It introduces a different set of problems, but I think they're fine too. If he leaves the rook as is, I could also consider pawn 6-5. Just trying to exploit this pin. Doesn't mean it's good, but I could consider it. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's an accurate move. Uh, so I think I need to just take this token and not get my rook exposed to this bishop. I like dramatic forcing variations as much as anyone else, but um, yeah, that wasn't going to work there. <laughs> I needed to like back off and just take this token. Oh. Okay. This pawn is interestingly placed. It definitely blocked my bishop from promoting. 
but it also prevents his bishop from being useful. And so now I have a kind of straightforward idea of moving my silver and then if I can force either of these pawns to fall, taking them. Um, if. If I can't force it, then I shouldn't try to force it. But if I can, that's a different matter. Um, but also, if I push this pawn, I have a knight fork. So, well, yeah, thanks to my bishop controlling this square, I have the fork. But who knows how long that would last. Right, so his bishop seeks new life. Um, maybe I do the fork. Yeah, the fork looks very nice, honestly. I don't know. We're not yet in the end game, are we? Uh. We're not yet in an end game. We're getting closer, but we're not there yet. I considered pawn drops, they're not any good. This is the way to go.
That makes sense. Interesting. So take, 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 take. I guess here we go. Force my hand, why don't you? not comfortable with this, but I've got to do it. And so hopefully now I get my tempo to like push this and get my king to escape. Um, honestly, like this uh, edge point might not be my safest escape square anymore. <laughs> um, maybe I want to escape just directly forward instead of trying to get through the edge because with the edge they might break that open I don't know okay that's a free rook I think that was an accident oh goodness I'm so sorry I'm so sorry it ended this way. Um, wow. That is an unexpected development. Both of those last moves. Right. Right. Ah, uh, yes. That is scary. Ah. Uh, Wow. Given a free move, uh, if I had an extra move, I intended to provide my king somewhere to run. Something like this or this. Uh, I am not sure what happened in this endgame. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It's pretty messy. Because um, either I played well or something horrible was missed by both of us. Um, right. Yeah, this is interesting. I th yeah, I expected this and thought you were doing well here. I don't know which is better. Um, yeah, the pawn drop is interesting, but... Shogi's hard. Yeah, my castle's harder, but you definitely have an initiative. Yeah. I always play the super defensive stuff, not because it's the way I would most prefer to play the game, but because it's a kind of beginner-friendly way to play it that I'm not, um, I don't know. It's painful the way I play, but it's also kind on the memory and allows me to be a little bit creative. Yeah, uh, King 2 to surprised uh, me a bit. Like, you've already moved the silver away. I 
didn't really understand what the king move was for. Oh. I forgot. Uh, bishop. Uh, I forgot the 3 1 piece is a bishop which cannot uh, defend 2 3. Interesting. Yeah, no, you're right. So maybe I just flat out missed that um, when the knights got exchanged. Oh! Oh, that's why he did the king move. Yeah, so... Okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah. Uh, this was so confusing. <laughs> Like, I wish I could have played better. Because um, at some point it was clear he was attacking pretty strongly. It was an exciting game. Literally, we're playing by the book, which is a good thing. Okay. Well, I guess that's not all bad then. Uh, yeah. Bishop moved many times, <laughs> but I found interesting complications, yeah. <sighs> so, I'm not really sure about a lot of this game. <laughs> no worries. I happened to be awake. Uh, I'll have to study this uh, closely sometime. There were many things to read out. Yeah. I get the sense that he's also like well, he is free, but, um, yeah, I did happen to already be awake. Um, now whether that was because of stress about this match being early, I don't know. Okay. Had a good day. Yeah, I got the sense that he was also having to go. Just given, uh, the timing of his comments and the depth of what he was saying there. I have the same sentiment as he does about the game, but, like, I think we were playing reasonably okay. This was kind of interesting. I wanted to see how this could play out, and I think now I have an understanding, like, this is not that great. It's playable, but there's gonna be... But, okay, yeah, if I'm gonna play this, I still have to deal with this problem. I still have to, like, bring my king over here. Um, so, like, yeah, I could defend better than I defended this game. And I, um, I should also acknowledge that maybe I could do, like, Elmo Castle or something. Like, if I'm super afraid of having happen to me what happened in my previous game, uh, this is the critical point. Um, so maybe by like pushing this sort of stuff I can uh, cover this square. I don't necessarily need the rook there to cover it. Uh, that seems a bit crazy. Um, so let's not fixate too much on the move ordering but just look at the general shape of things. So I brought the silver up here because I was afraid of this silver hitting my bishop's head so I put my silver in the way and decided to play a shape kind of similar to what he was doing. 
except he has his king next to his bishop, and I have my king on the other side. Um, let's see, my big idea was that I was going to shuffle my bishop out at some point, and that's why he eventually pushed his pawn as he did. Well, actually, in response to my bishop move, he did this. And I don't have a hard counter to it. So, yeah, my attack is mistimed. Um, I mean, in one sense, it's timed correctly, because, like, he is threatening to undermine my silver, and that's going to hurt. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Finding a good square for the bishop is hard. We'll have to study this closely and see um, exactly where I lost the thread. It could be this aggression that was just much too early. Like, yes, I built a sufficient castle, but um, finding a way to use all my pieces is hard. And if I bring my knight out, he obviously just takes twice, and my bishop's in a weird spot. So this is a good time to, like, rather than push this pawn. Um, my idea was to push this pawn and then like eventually to pawn drop on the knight's head there. We could invert the move order, this might be more effective. But also my rook on this side might be pretty strange. And while it is discouraging, well it did kind of force this pawn drop to happen and I wasn't really prepared for that. So this is a good resource too. Um, oh, in fact, if I play this, uh, he pointed out in some other lines of the game that, like, a knight would strike this square, and it's really awkward to defend. Uh, so this is, like, accidentally brilliant if I do that. Is this the first occasion I had to do that? I think so. Yeah, so if his silver has abandoned his king... This could be an interesting timing for me to just sack this. Well, then he'd get a bishop drop that he could, like, use to defend that. So this is not brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, this is awkward. It's not what you'd prefer to do. Um, oops. Yeah, we've got lots of arrows by Tisk. Tisk seems impatient about something. Or just really excited about this game. Uh, so this is the other idea, but this runs into that, and all my pieces are trapped. Uh, so, I tend to counterattack in a pretty irresponsible manner. Um, so, let's suppose we have this. What I was afraid of was this attack, but I think I can counter this way. Um, so the idea is that if they take this bishop, or if they take the silver, I can take here. And if they just simply push past and aim for the bishop instead, I think I'd take here anyway. And it's complicated. So yeah, I think I need to play this a little better, but, um... There's a lot to review. Unfortunately, I am very time constrained at this point. So, I think I've got to wrap things up here. Uh, but yeah, that was an unfortunate ending. Um, yeah, I had expected this move. And I think I still have an interesting position here. This is where I intended to like finally make time before hunting down material. But, um, so I think with that in mind, like, he's got to find an attack right now instead of moving the rook, or he's got to give up the rook for an attack. It's hard. Either way, I'm time constrained. I've, uh, got to prepare for work again. It's been an interesting game. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.